Artists in central Arkansas are working to portray people who are incarcerated all across the country. Thanks for joining us tonight. At 10, I'm Craig O'Neill. And I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. The project hopes to share the stories of the men and women serving life sentences in some of the toughest prisons in the country. THV 11's Melissa Zigowicz shows us why these artists say it's important to tell these stories. Craig Marley said 26, 26 artists work was put on display in downtown Little Rock tonight in partnership with Compassion Works. Each person in prison submitted a letter and a photo for the artist to paint their portrait. You get to learn a bit more about them. They become more relatable that way. Leah Johnson is one of the 26 artists involved with the prison portrait project. I did a group of eight drawings. Johnson painted Kenneth Key who is serving a life sentence at Stateville Correctional Center in Illinois. If you look at images of Stateville Correctional Center, I think it's pretty clear that it's a really terrible way to live. And Key's portrait is much smaller than the others. A lot of the portraits are about bringing the prisoner closer. I wanted to emphasize the distance with people who are serving prison terms. Johnson says the inspiration for the smaller portrait also comes from the correctional center. I did this kind of math to make you feel like you're seeing uh, Kenneth Key's face the same size that the that the security guard would see. Each person in prison like this one here has two portraits done by two separate artists and each portrait is set up directly across from each other. People do portraits and, and such of like famous people or pretty people and this right here is the people we don't see. Tanya Hollifield painted the portrait of John Ponder. He is uh, incarcerated here in Arkansas and he's been there since he was 14. Hollifield says many of these artists do not know why these men are incarcerated. People that go into prison, they're not the same. So they don't, a lot of people in prison don't ask each other what they're in for. And this is why she says it's important to tell these people stories. Because they could be different by now. Johnson says the artwork, artwork will be sent to each individual person for them to see. The exhibit is also open tomorrow morning from 11 to 2 at New Deal Gallery in Soma.